just arrived in New Mexico last night. Well, we've been sitting in here and birds been strolling in and out. I'm gonna let them come on in. Oh my gosh. Boy, that was an intense hunt. Oh my gosh. Man. Ready a mic. Shake it. <laughs> Road Trips is presented by Realtree, Chevy, Alps, Monster Mill, Primal Tree Stands, and Big Rack Spirits. We are pulling into New Mexico right now for the Merriam's hunt. You can tell right now we're in the flat country, but you can see all the hills over here we're about to be in. We're getting pretty close to the Uyu Bar Ranch, which is where we'll be hunting. We've been seeing antelope, we've been seeing turkeys, there's a bunch of mule deer here, bears, cougars, or mountain lions, whatever you want to call them. And it's just a target-rich environment here, but we're going to be after the Merriam's turkey. Genuine ostrich. We just arrived in New Mexico last night. This morning's gonna be the first morning we get to hunt. There was actually a group of birds out here last night that were gobbling. We watched them roost. Rigsby got them gobbling, so it was a pretty cool deal right here at the camp. But Hopefully, I can complete the slam this morning. We're gonna see, it's my personal slam. We kind of messed up a little bit on the full slam on this trip, because we had to bail out of Florida without an Osceola, but just the way it goes sometimes, but stay tuned. Oatmeal cream pie or muffin? Oatmeal cream pie. Why not both? Why not both of them? When he comes in gobbling, they're gonna say, what is that noise back there? Not the uh, little Debbie, but Hillstone will do. What about these grams? What's the boys? First morning here in New Mexico. Big Pitts is up for the Miriams. Um, Brian got an Eastern the other day. Obviously, we know Pitts missed the Osceola, but we're trying for the Eastern, or. Er, Miriam's right now and we're gonna swing back through Oklahoma on the way back for the Rios but first morning in New Mexico and uh, by the sound of it we're gonna be pretty close to him off the roost he said yeah I saw him go up to roost last night and we're gonna be within a hundred yards of him um, so it should be promising should hear a lot of gobbles it's not windy at all it's pretty clear can't ask for much better weather you know people talk about the weather I just say it's whether you do it or you don't you know they said, Riggs, how you do it? I said, I just wake up one day and did it. So It's hard, it, but I did it. Yeah, <laughs> no ditty. <laughs> but it should be good this morning. Big Pitts is up and knock down the Miriam, hopefully, and we all start heading back east after that. Maybe try some public land around. We're not sure yet if we got enough time afterwards, but maybe we can knock one down first morning and get the old proverbial ball rolling. Like we're going bowling. We got some birds right here to the right, about maybe 80 to 100 yards. There's a bunch of them roosting in a couple of big trees right over here. They're kind of limited to where they can roost here, so they all bunch up together.
shakes her hands. Jake's. There's a bunch of turkeys over there by that barn way across there. I guarantee you that's where the strutters are. Well, we've been sitting in here and birds been strolling in and out. We uh, we didn't come up with any gobblers. There was a bunch of Jake's in here bunch of hens in here but it was like a juvenile party as far as the male turkeys go we had them coming from this way coming from this way they were very active there just wasn't no long beard in the bunch so we're about to go on a quest for a long beard in the hill country and see if we can't put one down but it's been a fun hunt a lot of activity this morning the, the birds here are a lot more talkative to you than you know back home these hens will get to talking back and forth with you and holding the conversation. And back home, if you try to hold too long of a conversation, you'll run one off. So it's definitely neat to see the different species and how they react. Uh, these birds down uh, over here, they you can really call to them a lot and they don't get call shy. Back home, you over call to them and they're in DEFCOM 5, two counties over. So. It's definitely neat to learn the different species. I'm gonna let him come on in. Oh yeah, big strutter. Yeah. Get that hen fired up, she's talking.
Boom. Whew. Oh my gosh. Oh, my Boy, that was an intense hunt. Oh my gosh. Whoo. Man. Many of mine. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking like a leaf on a tree. Give me some, dude. Oh man. Oh, that took some time to that, that took a lot oh. of time. I think he probably flew down this morning with those others. He just went a different direction. But man, there was, look at all the hens still out there. The hens were literally five steps from the blind when they crossed and he hung out back there with one hen and uh, kind of got close enough that the bird was in the bubble and he came in charging. I don't know if the camera caught it, but we were just getting ready to make a move. And then we stood up and Rigsby just cut down hard. Uh -huh. And the whole, whole uh -huh. dang flock started coming out. There's a strutter in there. Yep, yep. Well, that was sexy. Man. Thank you so much, oh, buddy. Yes, Good deal. Man. At him. He definitely does not have a beard. There. Sometimes, you know, they're like me and don't have much of a beard. That's okay. Is that typical for a Merriam? That's pretty cool. This is my first Merriam's ever right here and it is a beautiful absolute look at all the white that is just crazy boy he's pretty that is beautiful we definitely got to watch him a lot coming in yeah that was and he finally got fired up he really started gobbling he wasn't gobbling kind of the, at the first in uh I thought it was in the footage of the turkeys we killed to get 45, 45 minutes. minutes. Well, the thing was, we kind of thought the hunt was over because everything kind of died out and stopped moving. And we were just kind of calling and, you know, goofing off, really. In fact, a couple of us had already stood up. And all of a sudden, we looked up and they were coming in from over here to the right, way out. We watched them come in from a few hundred yards off. But we were literally about to leave. All of a sudden, they heard a turkey's come through. He had a bunch of hens with him. I mean, a whole gaggle of them. One of my friend's grandma was named Miriam, actually. Heck of a bingo player. Heck of a bingo player. You know, beard rot's not an actual thing. Really? It's from lack of vitamins and stuff. Uh huh. And nutrients. So the beards don't grow, and that's why they get that hue like that. Some people say he, I have beard rot. He, he's a Jake. Uh, sorry, no. Moose Lodge? Go to the big. Oh, I got a moose God. lodge around here. You got a moose lodge? Moose? Yeah, moose lodge. Yeah. I think that's the first true Miriams I've ever seen. We've killed them in Nebraska, but I don't think they're as white as that. <laughs> 